The Daily Graphic this morning says, ban on public gatherings extended by three weeks. COVID-19 cases hit 4,700. All protocols remain in place. Ghana globally celebrated in COVID-19 fight. Dr. Da Costa Abuaji uh, says so. Armed robbers attack bullion van. Police retrieve 234,000 Ghana cities. We don't have power to ban media usage. National Media Commission says as the heightened uh, calls on them to uh, check out money doublers, loto doctors, and fake pastors and uh, ritualists or fetish priests on TV uh, showing that they can charm and, and double your money. On the back page, COVID-19 testing is free. Ghana Health Service uh, reiterates. Police hand for ex-convict for robbery. The Daily Guide. Robbers steal 600,000 Ghana cities from bullion van. IMF bounces NDC, clears government over false data. COVID-19 attacks police cells and 80 million Ghana cities bail for cool doctor. Seven others, Dr. Mark Palm and his uh, uh, League of uh, Men there. COVID-19 climbs high to 4,263. The Daily Guide is uh, way behind the figures that the president gave us yesterday. The Ghanaian Times, new Ga Manche introduced to Ga traditional council. Don't lift ban on social gathering. GMA to government. Let's fix problems on new tardy port system. Freight forwarders as Unipass still is performing unsatisfactorily according to the freight forwarders in Takradi. Two COVID-19 cases confirmed in Accra cell. A zoom line disinfects, cleans police facilities. Uh, what's on the back page? Disinfection of police installations reaches central region. And Ochihine gives to vulnerables in Achim Abuakwa. The BNFT Sir Tekpe is asking, will the COVID-19 cost be another budget footnote? He calls it a critical question. You, you find the BNFT and you read a two-page um, uh, article that he wrote. Challenges with Unipass linger at Takra Report. Minority pushes for temporary suspension. Major crisis awaits banking sector. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, expected credit losses keep employees safe and cybersecurity issues. Gab makes... More donations from 10 million Ghana cities, uh, COVID relief fund. A local producers guarantee our survival. He is not forsaking uh, them, according to Exim Bank CEO. They've given some facility to them. My guest this morning is the Honorable Deputy Minister for Information, Pius Enam Hajide, and also the Member of Parliament for the good people of Adaklu. Uh, we call him the Adaklu Bezai around okay. here. Kwame Agboja, been a long time. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much. How's the weekend? How was it? It's been good. We're grateful to God for his continued mercies mm. uh, upon us as a people. Mm. It's been good. Kwame, it's been a while. Yes, uh, we, we are grateful to God. Mm. We, are, we are still alive. Uh, we face a lot of threats, but by his grace, we are surviving so far. Threats from who? COVID okay. uh, spreading widely. Mm. Uh, the measures we are taking for me, appear not to be curtailing the spread as, as much as we want it. Mm. Uh, so everybody need to be careful what we do. So that's the first threat. The second threat is uh, generally living conditions are getting worse. Mm. People people can't go to back to their jobs. And uh, if you consider the fact that out of the 30 million people, government can't even employ one million people. Mm. It means the vast majority of Ghanaians make a living. Uh, doing whatever they do themselves. Mm -hmm. So the longer this uh, continues, the more threat it is to our economy and our survival. Mm -hmm. That is a major threat to, to all of us. The, the president yesterday assured us that, in fact, uh, I've seen uh, another one on the front page here and earlier before that, that the WHO is congratulating us for the measures that we have put in place, considered as one of the best around the world. So uh, you may have to come again. Well, the, it is not uh, difficult for you to understand why government would pat themselves in the back on, uh, on this particular issue. If you remember when this thing happened, some of us or our party thought that the president was a bit late in taking the measures they, they took uh, in, in preventing this. When they finally uh, took off, they had a lot of uh, missteps. Mm -hmm. uh, the method used in terms of the lockdown was ineffective. No wonder within a few weeks they, they suspended it. Basically, I, I was just driving down here this morning and I drove past a few trot stations and everything. I can't see anybody 
seeing this as a threat. I could see people congregating anyhow and near the torturers and other things. And the government's intervention, let's face it, mm -hmm. this government basically came to parliament and asked for certain uh, uh, support to deal with this. Mm -hmm. In total, the state handed over 6.7 billion Ghana CD to the NPP to deal with this. As we speak, how does that manifest in one, reducing the, 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 the speed of spread? Mm -hmm. I see them doing some statistics claiming a certain curve has flattened and other things. All of a sudden, we've got five, over 500 uh, people adding, I don't know from, what. From a factory, 533. From a factory. That, that, is still, that is still in the country, but that is that factory. The point is, Mr. Hughes, mm. you can't tell whether you and I have COVID as we sit here, can you? Yeah. Unless we test. Right. So the fact that we have tested more than other countries. Mm. Look, when we're talking about democracy and we are comparing ourselves to Togo or Nigeria, is that a good... But, but on a one million ratio, we are doing better than most countries in Africa. Well, but you see, Ghana was a smaller country. Mm. We thought we could self-determine and get independence before Nigeria. So we don't compare ourselves to... In a, in a land of the blind, one eye can be a decent... But we, we thought we could do better. That is what I'm saying. So when MVP says World Health Organization, praise them. Even the World Health Organization themselves took a flag for some of the lapses they, 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 they actually supervised in mm. terms of this thing. So... It is, it is very obvious, but did this call for praise mm. for NPP stop the spread of COVID in Ghana? It's not. In fact, if you do a flip side, mm. Nigeria over 160 million people. Look at the proportion of people who are infected with uh, uh, COVID in Nigeria mm. and compared to us. We are a much smaller country. So at, at, at what basis is, is this being done in terms of Oh, Ghana is doing better. Yes, we've tested a bit more people than Nigeria. Mm. Which, but we are saying that we know our capability. We could have tested more. Okay. We even said, members of parliament are 275. We mingle with people so many times, including all the weekend I was meeting people. I tried to do my part. But what about other people? Test the frontline people. Test mm. people who are capable of meeting people, all the, 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 those things. Nobody is, is listening. So the mass testing <coughs> we're talking about can, we can do better. Nobody is saying we didn't test more than Nigeria. Seven, seven new uh, testing, uh, what do you call it, uh, centers uh, have been activated. Professor Fred Bink, I remember, had said that we have the capacity if we recalibrate these systems across the country to test. Now they are coming upstream, per what the president said yesterday. That's some good, good, good uh, well, news. Well, isn't well it? this is all something that we have been calling for all along. When you talk about uh, uh, new centers, of course, you has has got a, a new testing mm. uh, center now, but nobody gives credit to NDC for that center. That university was one of them that the Rota Regional Minister called a, a non-existing university. Today, it is good government found it in the bush and can do a testing center. We agree mm. that we could activate more testing uh, centers mm. and the quantum of testing could be enlarged. That is all right. we are talking about. Okay. Nobody is saying government did nothing. But we, we are saying that when you are given 6.7 billion Ghana city, mm. We expect more results from that. That is all we are Did saying. Did you see the plan for, for the spend of the six billion which was demanded? You were in parliament. Yeah, well, you were, you were, your, 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 your colleague was in parliament. The NBP refused to tell us whatever they are going to use the money for. The only thing they told us was they were going to spend one, million, one billion for, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, to give relief for electric, uh, electricity mm. uh, con consumption. Right. We ask details. For especially for the one billion dollar, they said we basically said we'll go and spend and come and tell you uh, what we needed to do. As we gave money for to feed people during the COVID mm. uh, like this, then the feed, feeding stopped. Did you hear anybody tell you that okay, we budgeted X amount of money, we've stopped the, the feeding. This is what we are going to uh, apply the rest of the monies to. I mean, there are so many things about this. We're 6 spending two million cities a, a day. Oh, well, um, that, that, that question and answer will come later. They're spending 2 million. Can they account for the people? 400,000 people. For, they, spend, they, they fed 400,000 people. The gender minister said we're feeding 400,000 people on a daily basis. That is what I'm saying that whatever I say here, you will not understand. She's a member of parliament. She's a minister of state. At the right time, she'll be asked to produce details of the 400,000 people she was, spend, uh, she was feeding a day outside of what the private sector, the NGOs, everything we're, we're doing. She would have to provide because it's public funds. You can't, we couldn't just say and, uh, come and say that, oh, I went to an area, I fed 400,000 people. Okay. You would have to provide details of those people. Okay.
Uh, Paris, government is doing well according to the WHO. Um, here, Kwame says they disagree with that pat on government's back and on the basis of the fact that with all the interventions that have been put in place, it is still not stopping the spread of COVID-19. And that may be defeatist. What do you say? But the figures that the president said yesterday, I, I saw some bit of improvement going by what the president said. But Kwame here has doubts. Do you share any doubts? Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Hughes. And good morning to you, to Honorable Lagoja and the cherished viewers of mm -hmm. TV3 this morning. But like the president said uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. there are political actors who will have to necessarily make the kind of commentary that Honorable Agoja is mm -hmm. making. Mm -hmm. They have become... Uh, quite irrelevant in the scheme of things mm -hmm. and they are struggling for the relevance and they feel that one of the ways that they can continue uh, to be relevant on the political space even within this COVID-19 mm -hmm. is to continue to make those political uh, commentary and outbursts. Mm -hmm. So we cannot begrudge them. Mm -hmm. uh, it is just that it is a clear indication that they have not responded well to the call for a national effort mm -hmm. at confronting COVID-19. From the very onset, we have warned against uh, these levels of stark politicization to the extent that now members of Parliament of Ghana are prepared to even disagree with the WHO, World Health Organization, that Ghana is doing something well. For me, it's a, a zero-sum mentality, sort of. Are their questions legitimate? I'll come to that. Okay. They are not legitimate at all. But I'm saying that, for me, members of parliament of Ghana are today prepared to contradict the World Health Organization that Ghana is doing something well. It says the WHO has taken some flack earlier. So, it's, well, so, so they will disagree with... with that's what I'm saying, that they will disagree with everybody. Mm. They will disagree with the IMF. They will disagree with the WHO just because, as far as they are concerned, they have to do play politics. So you gave so it the is not IMF just, different figures. So uh, that, and you gave Ghanaians different figures. But that's not correct. Now the mm -hmm. World Bank, the, the IMF has spoken, mm -hmm. and 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 they have eggs on their faces. But we'll come to that mm -hmm. one okay. later on. But I'm saying to you that it tells you about their nationalism. It tells you about their patriotism. It tells you about how they want, what picture they want to paint of this country. Mm -hmm. That for them, the fact that something is happening well within the tenor of another political party, we have to scuttle it at all, at all costs. Mm. For them, it is all about what do we say and do to get political power for its own sake. Even though their history in, in, in power is nothing to write them about. But the facts speak for themselves. And I, I, I don't think that it begs repeating. Mm. In Africa, we are the country that has tested the most per capita, every mm. one million, per one million of the population, mm. we have tested the most. In a, we are one of the countries with the lowest, he talks about spread, I don't know what, mm. what uh, in, uh, indicators he's using. We are one of the countries with the lowest levels of spread. As compared to Nigeria. And so, 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 I do not know what we are comparing with. And I think that it, it is even was, a wrong thing to compare. with Nigeria. It clear, clear misunderstand, clear lack of understanding of what we are doing. Okay. In our country, the fact that we have recorded more positive cases than Nigeria should actually be a good thing. It tells you that clearly our colleagues don't understand oh, the really? fight, the fight uh, oh, yeah, towards, uh, uh, towards COVID-19. Mm -hmm. In fighting COVID-19, our strategy is to go after the virus. We are not treating and reporting op on persons who have reported symptoms to the hospital like other countries are doing. Mm. So we are doing enhanced contact tracing. But they are asking for a blueprint in, for this fight. And yesterday, that clarity wasn't there. In fact, the minority, when the minority held this press conference, they asked that you give them a blueprint of what you're using to fight COVID-19. Like they did a blueprint for Ebola. They, and they gave it to whom? The, the, people who are, the people who were operationalizing the plan had the plan. Okay. When they did the blueprint for, the, for Ebola, did they give it to you? Mm. It is the, the persons who are implementing the plan that have, us, that have, that have access to the plan. And I'm saying to you that you have to disregard the commentary. Mm. It is not grounded in good faith. And I'll come back to the, 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 the testing issues. Right. Also, the, the, the question of blueprint, set it aside completely.
Why? It's a non -starter. Why should we set The president, at ve from the very word go, said to us clearly what the strategy was. And I can, mm. I, I even, I recall, and I can say to you right now, okay, the, the five or six strategic objectives that we have. Okay. One, to limit uh, 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 and stop importation, mm. to detect and contain the virus, mm. to, uh, for the, another objective is care and treatment mm. for the sick, mm. to increase our production capacity and deepen our self-reliance, and I can go on. So all these, and they have been illuminated upon on, on, at several fora. So this thing about the blueprint is neither here nor there. Okay. So for each one of the strategic objectives, actionable points have been listed. For instance, the ramping up on our testing capacity that mm. you spoke mm. of is under the number two objective, which was to detect and to contain the virus. Mm. When we came, there were two centers in this country that could test for virus. Okay. Today, there are over nine centers that are testing but, for but virus. But the centers were present. What perhaps are They were not present. Happened? No. They were not the, the centers that are capable of testing mm. for COVID-19 were not present. Professor Fred Binker sat on this platform six weeks ago and said that the centers are present, I think district hospitals or so, they just have to be recalibrated. So they were not present. Something had to be done. The recalibration of a center to test for COVID-19 is not uh, it's not something that you take two minutes or Did two minutes. Did you buy minutes new to equipment? Do. Well, if you have to, you have to. But you have not bought new equipment. Now, no, no. So you are using the old system and you are recalibrating it. That's what they called. And Bedou Sarkozy agreed I'm saying with, that. with Professor I'm saying Benka. that the centers were not present. The centers capable of testing COVID-19 were not present. What, what Something have you, what have you done. added to the centers to make them... COVID, they had to be recalibrated. They had to be recalibrated. And that means that you bought new equipment. I haven't said that here. But So I'm saying that then the centers... But I haven't said that. I haven't said that. I'm saying the centers capable of treating a uh, testing COVID-19... Mm. Until the recalibration, those centers were not able to treat COVID, test COVID-19. But, but the That's recalibration is not as if you're buying a new thing. What's your understanding of your recalibration? Well, you're, you're just reconfiguring the system. That's all. That's, That's what, your understanding. That's what Professor Frebenka said here. I did that interview here. No, I think, I think, I think that it's a limited understanding. I've, I've, inter I've listened to Professor Frebenka. Okay. I've also listened to the persons who are doing the, the, the recalibration. Okay. And I know that... The centers what have did they, now. What did they tell you the centers doing? have now been uh, capacitated to test for COVID nineteen. Okay, and there were cost implications on all of those efforts. And it's not just one; it's not just two. There are about seven new centers that have been added to the two at great cost. He, he actually state. said we could have nine, if I remember, but now we have seven. And I'm asking you, per your conversation with the the experts. What does the recalibration mean and how much did we spend if you have the... No, that, I mean, I think that these are details that we can get to later about okay. how much was spent and all that. I mean, the question of feeding and, on, and so on, I do not believe that no, they are legitimate you, you, processes we'll, at, this, okay. at this point. So, I, I cannot come to... But, but you, you, are making, you are making the claim that the centers that were COVID testing compliant were not there. And I'm, I'm, saying and that I'm submitting said, to you I'm saying, that the buildings, the machines were all I haven't all said there. they were not there. Okay. I said that something had to be done to make them COVID-19 uh, 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 capable of testing for mm. COVID-19. Okay. What, and this is a, 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 it's a, a factual statement. I don't see how right. we sp why we will split heads up over this one. Okay. I'm saying that only Noguchi and KCCR, mm. without calibration or without... Uh, from configuration, mm. you choose your words. They were the only two centers that were, were was able to test. Okay, we wanted to ramp up. We have ramped up. We have added seven. Okay, so it is not something that we can discount. Major efforts went into it. Okay, saying so, that's a fact, and it is because there's a document, there's a strategy paper that tells us that we needed to increase on our testing capacity. Okay, and one of the ways to do that is to get those testing centers and now we have them okay we are not even ending at the seven or nine that we have now mm. we are expecting that at the very basic at least every region should be able to test has a have a facility that is capable of testing okay and that can be done we have to recalibrate we have to do some added investments into those centers to make them capable of testing you're, you're, for you're not telling me what you are adding on to what is already existing that's what i want to find out because you have had no i you, don't you do are the minister i you, don't do that so for, so for example this studio uh we use this studio for tv3 new day for news 360 and for key points the thing we change here is the table 
so that it creates that atmosphere and the lighting system to use. So get that sense. So it is. So it is. It, it, if you like, you can call it simply that's a recalibration. So get, get, so I'm the, asking at the very at the very basic level, mm. you get that picture. That if you had to change your studio from New Day mm. to be able to host another uh, program, you have to make changes to the studio. It is cost we, to we the don't, We don't bring anything new. In I haven't there. said you're bringing anything new, Mr. Hughes. No, I'm, I'm just, I just, I just want you, to understand. I'm saying to you, I just said I agreed with you and mm. I want to bring it uh, to your level. You okay. said you were changing the studio. I said, fine. If you have to change this studio, reconfigure, recalibrate, mm. whatever, this studio to be able to host another program after New Day, you are going to do something to the studio. It right. is cost to TV3, correct? It is, we don't add cost. In our case, there's no cost. Same cameraman, same camera, same light, same set. You just lift the table and bring another table. That's all. Your calculation of costing is very problematic. Okay. It's very problematic. Maybe you should speak to your management. Okay. So what? what so, what? so so again... But you're not able to again, tell me the again, cost. But that's what I'm saying. That you're, I, I don't understand why you're even bogging me down to... The, the the technicalities of the recalibration. Is it not your job to inform the people? I'm, I'm asking you questions so the people. But can I think that is. I think that it is. Uh, if you may, for the for the discussion that we are having, I think that the questions are rather misplaced. They are because you allowed Honorable Aguja to run through. So the same courtesies that you, you I have you, allowed you to run. No, you have not every for clarification. No, you, you keep doing that, and I have explained to you that you cannot expect of me to give you the graphic description of what is okay. involved in the recalibration and you keep going back to it okay and i've spent all my time stuck on just discussing the testing because you are discarding you said that some of the issues you raised about feeding and the rest should be discarded so i take it that you said you are not interested in that that's why i'm focusing on this he one. didn't just speak about feeding okay and i didn't come here to respond to another abuja okay so I'm surprised. And, and I don't want you to be responding. So, so to don't him. say that I have discarded some of these things as though all I said to do was to, to respond to but you. I, I have my own story to tell. Okay. And so if you'd allow me, just like you, are, you had allowed him, I would have told my story and would have been out of these uh, uh, testing issues by now. Okay. What, so, what's your story? My story is this. Hmm. That Ghana is succeeding at COVID-19. To the, to the extent that even the World Health Organization applauds that something good is happening in this country. Okay. We are the country that has tested the most per capita in Africa. This is the country that has been able to identify and isolate over 4,000 persons. Mm -hmm. Now, the strategy that the NDC wants us to use, mm -hmm. if we were going to go by that strategy, we would have had only about a little over 1,000 persons who would have identified as COVID-19 cases. And then they'll be shouting, oh, our figures are low. But that would have meant that we would have over 3,000 persons who are out there in the community who have not shown symptoms and reported to the hospitals, mm. but who still would be able to um, infect other persons. So there is wisdom in the strategy that go after uh, the contacts and possible exposed uh, people who have possibly been exposed mm. and test them. And he says that we were late. We were not late, my brother. In the NDC issued a statement and said that the WHO... Uh, on the 20th of February 2020, announced that uh, uh, COVID-19 was a global health uh, emergency. Yes. But in that same statement, the WHO also warned that there was no reason at that time to take any measures that would interfere with international travel and trade. It's in the same document that you quoted mm -hmm. from. But you chose to nitpick and focus only on that. Mm -hmm. It was only around the 11th of March, when the WHO declared that it was a pandemic, mm -hmm. a global pandemic, and by which time there was reasonable basis to interfere with international trade and international travel, Ghana moved to close its borders. But before we closed our borders, long before we closed our borders, mm -hmm. we had put in several measures to, to stop and, 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 and limit uh, importation, for instance, into, into our country. Which were these measures? The, the first thing we did was to do an aggressive screening at the, at the port of entry. And you recall that I even saw a video of somebody from uh, UK, I think he mm. uh, works with uh, uh, one of the airlines, mm. who came to Ghana, went back to the UK, and made a documentary of what was happening in Ghana at the time which was not even happening in the UK. I'm sure you have seen that. But, but we also had sent Armstrong, a reporter, across 
to Aflao, to the Doma area, and to the north, where the immigration officers didn't have PPEs, they didn't have their testing guns, they didn't have nothing. And they, would, they were actually telling the people to come into the, the country to go to the hospitals and get tested. We also have that report. Well, I, 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 I'm not going to uh, engage I'm not, you. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying I'm, that. So if, I'm, I'm not going to engage you. I don't mm. know what time, what time you are talking about. This was prior to the closure of the border. Yes. Mm. So, so, but it is not and true. That's Aflau, I went to Aflau myself. Okay. Long before we closed our borders, we had moved PP. We had actually even moved machinery. There was one man at a flower wearing. But clothes. you just said that your reporter didn't find anybody. What? There was one but man. That, but you just said right now on your set. No, 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 no. Look, that you went to a flower. Do not, do not, do not misquote me. I, said, I heard you loud and clear. I said there were people. No, there. no, no. You there said people, not one. Pass, no PP. Listen to me. There were people there. They didn't have the testing guns, <laughs> and they were asking the people. These are immigration officers. And there was one. And then actually, all of a sudden, the one man appeared. After no, you said the there one was man was at a flower. But you said there was nobody at a flower. You mentioned a flower. You're, you're, you're manufacturing words for me. No, I heard you. I was here. You said there were. You didn't said, finish the sentence. Then you jumped in. <laughs> oh, so you didn't know what he was going to okay. say. Okay. So, so, so you, you said there was ag aggressive. I'm telling you that we have also done stories in the past, prior to the closure of the borders, and maybe that is in itself may have endangered us some more. You can agree. You can disagree, but. That's my question. I don't see a question. I, see, I hear a statement, not a question. Okay. But the fact of the matter is that you did say here on the set that there was no persons at the borders, and you sent reporters to Aflau. You are putting words into my I mouth. I didn't. That's no, you what can you're play doing. Back, you can play back that's, your that's tape and say doing. And so, so that's what I'm saying to that's, you. That that's what you're because doing. Because again, again, I really and truly do not appreciate the interruptions. But you have spoken three minutes unhindered. I'm asking one question. I think I'm interacting. Because when you interact, I am, I am compelled to respond to the interaction okay. before I get back to, to what I have okay. to say. Wrap, wrap up for me. Well, you can have your time. Give it to another approach. Kwame, the, the uh, BNFT is reporting that major crisis awaits the banking sector. And they said banks should brace for substantial credit losses, increased cybersecurity challenges, and increased cost in keeping employees safe as the novel coronavirus continues to wreak havoc. Uh, a report by PricewaterhouseCoopers has said, a report which assessed impacts of the coronavirus pandemic on the banking sector paints a very grim outlook for the industry, especially operations and profitability, despite the measures put in place by the Bank of Ghana to cushion impact on the virus and the financial sector. The data on the banking industry's credit exposure by sector in 2019 show that the services sector tops with 24%, followed by the commencement uh, and finance, uh, commerce and finance with 21% and manufacturing 11%, meaning that any impact that the pandemic has on these sectors will also reflect heavily on the banking sector. Now, the, there are stimulus packages that have been put in place by this government in the wake of COVID-19. Uh, industry is getting some six, uh, SMEs are getting some 600 million uh, Ghana cities. Um, some other 3 billion also have been put together by banks to be given as soft loans to people. But PricewaterhouseCoopers is raising red flags in spite of all of these things. Are they not screaming too early, even before this capital injection gets to businesses and uh, private people? Mr. Hughes, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I want to set uh, uh, some record straight based on what the, my very good friend, the Deputy Minister of Communication... It's, it's within your time. Yes, yes, no problem. First of all, uh, Pyros would agree that the NDC, under the leadership of President uh, Mahama, was the first to put up a technical committee ba uh, made up of very competent people who have run public health uh, systems in, uh, in Ghana and abroad. Mm. And out of that, very cogent proposals were made. In fact, the first few uh, outings of the president, the recorded uh, the outings that the president did, mm. did were the proposals were al almost 70% based on those proposals that we, 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 our technical committee put together publicly. And you can check uh, those details. The, pr uh, the former president, as a person, went further to resource health institutions across the country by providing PPEs and other things. In fact, members of parliament, including myself, went ahead and did the same. In fact, the, the items I donated in Adaklo & Co, which was over, over 30,000 CDs, never even came from my common fund. So if a party does not want to be 
part of this fight which we consider a collective fight mm -hmm. how come our party and individuals put in so much resources well, don't I, politicize it that's what you're saying we're not, we're not in fact it was the president that politicized the the, the whole thing by pretending that whatever they do with the 6.7 billion that we give them should inure to as people call it a political gain and that is why i i think that when my good friend says that as of the time we had 300 cases that Accra, Tema, and Kumasi were locked down. Mm. Today that we have over 4,700, he calls it, we should even be, we should, we should be happy we have got pe more people but testing. We're uh, testing uh, more. No, hold on. He, he, in fact, if you play back, I know he'll dispute it. He said, we should be happy we have got more people ident identified. What we are saying is this, that this is not even enough. We could do better. So I don't know why he, he considers this as an anti, anti uh, nationalist or something. We okay. are basically saying okay. that let's, Ghana let's as, as a country, we could do better because we gave you a lot. And to battle the point you made, the, the NPP government only focused on Kotoka International Airport for a very long time. I'm a ranking member of road and transport. We monitored the, the, the port. It was only when it was getting worse that the president went to the, the airport. But we were saying that the number of people who cross our borders from Aflau are more than the people who use Kotoka, Elubo, and all those things. So okay. the, late, the late reaction of the president mm. is what we're talking about. Let's make are progress. They, you're saying the, the, the banks, are yeah. they jumping too early? Well, I'm asking if PricewaterhouseCoopers is not jumping too early because the president has announced stimulus package for businesses, 600 million is there. We have some 3 billion of soft loans. Um, earlier, the president had asked the Minister for Finance and the Bank of Ghana to sit down and see how industries can be cushioned. And so some efforts are being made in that direction. Why is PricewaterhouseCoopers talking about uh, a possible major crisis as a result of how the sectors, various sectors will be hit? Mr. Hughes, the banking sector was already in crisis before this. And I always say they were not in crisis because of only mismanagement. They were in crisis because if you trace the trajectory of the debt owed to the banks, mm. majority of them were debt that contractors owe, uh, government owes contractors, which were, they, were, they never paid on time, and mm. then the, they couldn't pay the banks, mm. and the banks collapsed. So now they are using taxpayers' money to say that they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are protecting the banks, which basically means that somebody is sick, could take one city to feed he, uh, to to cure him. You wait until he dies, and you are trying to use uh, how do you call it ten cities to to, to bury him. Mm. What the Price Water House and Coopers is saying is not uh, different from from us, uh, from what the public know know mm. about. You are away. I don't know about uh, 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 <coughs> your network. When multimedia lays of one hundred people, mm. you think they were waiting for Price Water House. The reality of the damage that this economy is suffering is there out there. There are people who can't go back to work, even if you leave the bank tomorrow. There are companies who can't act actually do anything because they, their capital has dried out, mm. their source of supply has been cut off, and they don't have market. So we have a serious problem. And I, I, can I, I, can I, we not wait for the stimulus packages to be activated first let, let me, before we start Let me, let me tell you this. One of the reasons that NDC asked for a detailed breakdown of the 6.7 billion, mm. the 1.2 billion from the stabilization fund. Right. And I used to say that fund was there, Ebola came, we never touched it, but we were able to, to deal with Ebola more in Ebola more, came more, more oh, pardon? Ebola came where? I said Ebola came as a, as a threat to this country, oh. but that fund was there, we never mm. touched it, but we were more intelligent enough in dealing with it, so Ebola never appeared uh, as, 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 as a... But a, you didn't uh, record a case here, did yes, you? Yes, exactly, that is the point. That is the point we are making, that we were more competent. In fact, Ghana actually hosted the coordination center of Ebola, but we prevented Ebola from coming to Ghana. Oh, you and, and, oh yes, it was, it was the prudent effort we made. They couldn't. Some people even believe that even people in high ranking could have, could have been compromised in terms of bringing the thing to the country because, mm. as a matter of fact, ministers, MPs, and those, we travel a lot. So could have brought it. So and, and Hughes will allow allow that to pass. That what? He will allow the statement you just made to that, pass. That what? That people in authority oh. were capable of bringing the Mr. case. Hughes. What you just said. He He's, allowed it yes, to pass. Yes, Mr. Hughes. As a member of parliament, I go on official uh, 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 travels. In fact, the president was in Norway. Mm. The Norway, his Norwegian counterpart 
were found to have... You are seeking to equalize. I, I, no, I'm saying that if that is the case, could you not have said that the president himself could have brought it, or his entourage could have brought it? I don't know. I'm not... You don't know. That's what I'm saying. That the, the cases were recorded. You I, 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 I am so, I, to allow him uh, to... So, so part of, which, which part of this? <laughs> Members of parliament could have been, because we interact more with, with, with people than... But than, I'm, I'm than suggesting to you that Ebola wasn't here. So now you can't use the two was, the was, two the two variables. Hold on, no, they are the same. No, was 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 uh, uh, how do you call it? COVID uh, 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 originating from Ghana. But it but it but came but to Ghana, hmm. isn't it? And I'm saying that Ebola could have come to Ghana, but because of the competent way that President Mahama and the team managed it, but the it two, never came the two, Ill, the two diseases are different. The two viruses are different. They are. That's they are. They are diseases. An airborne, an airborne virus. Uh, that you know, no, they're all human contact. You can, you can, you can bring it, but the point is that you can't take it away. That but Ebola, Ebola is Ebola, not, Ebola fact, is not there. Was, there was public education, we were all scared of Ebola in this country. Bottom line Ebola is Ebola is not airborne. No, nobody says all the diseases in the world are not airborne, yes, but this is airborne, yes. But that doesn't that, the air didn't blow from uh, from uh, China to Accra, that, that, did it? Did air blow from China to Accra, Wuhan to, uh, to Accra? It didn't. Okay. It came through people. So Let us make progress. The, the point I'm, I'm saying that the government that, has, has allowed stimulus Let me tell you why that, that, is, that is peanut. We should, allow, we should allow for the stimulus packages to be activated first before we start crying foul. Do you know when some people's stimulus packages were disbursed? You see, when somebody is sick, depending on the time you make the intervention would determine whether the person survives or not. When you get heart attack, you can, if they wait for one hour to give you the best heart surgeon or anything in the world, you will still die. So the application of this stimulus package mm -hmm. must be timed to actually serve as a panacea to the, the problem we have. Mm -hmm. When we give you 6.7 billion Ghana CD, mm -hmm. and we are telling you, give us details as to where you want to spend it. Mm -hmm. Because we notice that people were beginning to actually expend money on hotels linked to the government mm -hmm. because they claimed that they were hosting a Ebola patient. And we were thinking that this COVID, things, COVID of course, okay, COVID-19. We're thinking that this government, knowing their record, will basically skew the expenditure to suit themselves. Even in the, in this tragedy, all, we have all the twenty or so uh, hotels that were used were government related. Or, I said uh, some of the hotels we we saw people were using. Mm. Even one floor, uh, one, one suspected uh, case uh, on one floor closed on the whole uh, floor. And I have a situation where somebody at uh, uh, how do you call it, Nima? Who was tested positive was told to go home and then and then uh, uh, allegedly go and, and take care of himself herself. I don't know where that that is now. The point we are making about expenditure mm. is this: six hundred million Ghana CD is a drop in the ocean in terms of how to save businesses. It's a step in the and, right direction. Oh, I'm saying that even if you give them one CD, it's still money. But mm. I'm saying that the quantum of challenge we have, if we give you six point seven billion, and you are telling us you are you are you are spending six hundred million on businesses. What about the rest? We want to know the details so that you and I can interrogate. There's also it. 3 billion soft loans that, soft, the that is coming from the banks. Directed to give up. That is coming so from So you the, can assess it with a six-month moratorium. Look, we are talking about government direct intervention. When the U.S., what the U.S. and others are doing is, that, that is different. If, if your bank decides to give you a soft loan, mm. that is good news. But we are saying that direct government intervention, that is the 6.7 billion, that is what we have control over. We want to know how that is spent. How much do, would you want of that amount to be given to businesses to, to support them? No, if they brought the figures, we would have realized that there are sectors in the economy that are uh, very much uh, hit. Mm. People say that the most hit is, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the hospitality. hospitality but I say go to the construction sites. Mm? Mm. Majority of unskilled labor in this country come from areas like that. Right. What packages do you have for contractors and their, their labor force who are now at home. So it's because maybe because it's a crack thing, so you think that the people who are suffering more are in the hotels. People are not sleeping in hotels in Adaklu, but they're also suffering. What pack, how does the package go there to help the small businessman trade a trader in Adaklu? That is what we are talking about. The only way we can make an intervention is if government was transparent. Mm. But you see, the attitude of my, my good friend here, when you talked about figures, MPP believes don't talk about the 6.7 billion until they finish spending. You, you, so anytime, anytime you talk about it, they say, no, 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 I don't want to talk about see, the figures. The, the government has made it clear that to be able to assess the stimulus package, you need to show proof that you are a good citizen, you have been paying taxes, because it's literally no contribution, no job. So if that small businessman in Adaku has been running a business and has not been paying taxes, whether it's business operation, Mr. Hughes, we haven't even gotten there yet. Rate. We are not even distributing the money. We are talking about the pocket. The, the, the chest available, we are talking about, that's what we are talking about. We are saying that 
if you were to say we are spending one billion out of the six point seven billion, mm. we would have told, we would have argued about which sectors needed help first. Okay. Currently, the focus on hospitality and mm. others mm. to me doesn't 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 cut it because okay. majority of the people in this country mm. don't work in the hospitality industry. They rather work on construction site, okay. on farms, and other things. Okay. Thank you, Paris. Take, it, take this in for me. PricewaterhouseCoopers is, is warning of a major crisis. I've been trying to point out to Kwame what interventions government has made. And I'm suggesting to him that shall we not allow these interventions to kick in first of all so that we can see the effect and then measure the impact of same before we start saying we are going down the drain. And he says that, look, we are over focusing on just the hospitality industry may not be the best because manufacturing is there uh, so many other sectors are there what 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 do you what do you say well first and foremost i want to say strongly that the impression created mm. that the travel of for instance his excellency the president may have been responsible for the no, importation no, no, no. of the virus no. you sought to do that no as i included I'm myself that, i didn't say the president you, you, no, it's not. We are more likely. We are more likely. this time. But I want travel. it to be clear. I said, we are, travel. including myself, we you are more likely because we were traveling. You didn't travel. So I don't know. Okay, you didn't travel. Who so said I, 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 I do not know how you will be here and be imagining yourself having traveled. I'm saying that. Oh. That impression, uh -huh. which both the NDC uh -huh. and your good self here on the set seek to create, is misleading and unfortunate. And I'm being charitable. Because you know why? As a member of parliament, you know that. The, the cases, the recorded cases that we have in this country, mm -hmm. we are not just speculating about them, where they could come from or not. We know who the individuals are, mm -hmm. who were even the ones who brought the, uh, the cases into the country. Mm -hmm. So this talk is, at best, unfortunate. But I can understand, again, the politicization that I'm speaking about. Number two, this, the evidence is that Ghana took leadership in ensuring that there were measures at our borders to at least screen mm. all the official borders that's number two number three is that when i say that we have more cases mm. and that we are in a better place than the countries that do not have the kind of cases we have mm. because of the strategy that we are doing and my brother says that i have said i should we should be happy the point i'm making is that if you check what the Ghana health service has, has reported mm. There is something they call routine surveillance. All right. That is what other countries are doing. If you check the routine surveillance, mm. Ghana's case would have been a little less than 2,000, 1,000 and over. Mm. They used to be if on the website, not, they, they've taken it off. No, it's still there now. Still you there just now. have to search it. To it's search a it. You have okay. to now search it and click on it. Okay. It's there. And so, if we were not doing something differently, mm. Mr. Gocha would have been preferred, uh, would, would have preferred to have been seeing uh, lower numbers, 1,200. Mm. Mm. Through the routine so, testing. So what we're but doing what that will mean enhanced yes. and, and the tracing it and mandatory. We have okay. categorized it as such. Okay. And I'm saying that the enhanced contact tracing mm. is where the higher numbers are. Okay. And that is what I'm saying that it's a good thing because before people show symptoms, okay. before they report for the people. You, are, you go after them and search for them. Mm. You ask yourself, okay, Mr. Hughes has it. So who has Mr. Hughes been in contact no, with? Me, I don't you have contact them, it's just an okay. example. Uh, so Pius has it. Well, and Pius, Pius, has, Pius has, it. has been related okay. to it. Yeah. Okay, so, so... It is possible. No, so, I don't so that's the it. point. So, so, what, so what you do is that, and that's the understanding that I want okay. Honorable Goja okay. to get. That's why I'm saying that it is a good strategy that we are going after. Okay. So I have it. Before... The persons that I may have given it to show symptoms, mm. they go after them. Okay. You don't and wait they, for they, it you to don't, escalate. Because by the time they show symptoms themselves and go to the hospital and be captured as routine, uh, routine uh, surveillance, they, they themselves have, would have infected right. other persons. Right. Okay. And that is why our numbers appear to be high. But that's a good thing. Okay. Because then we are able to identify all these persons and isolate so, them. So, Therefore, so it means that we have not peaked? No, uh, as for peaking... I cannot say we have picked or we have not picked because I do not. But even the health service told us that we. Are no, we had, I didn't hear that. I was at that press conference. I never, I never. He says that okay. we have seen some high, high, uh, high uh, the spikes. Okay. For the next two days, they have seen the the the, the, the numbers lowering. They okay. hope and pray. Okay. 
that we do not get those high numbers again, then we would say that we had we had picked okay. at that point. You have spent so so I think so that so four so minutes of your time. You, you, no, I just want to learn no, no, something. It, it is now that you, he's, you a, he's, a, he's an information minister. Now that we've got the five hundred and something, what does that do to the cap? Well, is it well, flat it, too flat it, or it is, it is time? Allow no, him to finish. You know how the you know how caps are drawn. Mm -hmm. There can be spikes. Right. And then it will stabilize, and it can maybe there can be. A, we we all hope and pray that we don't see any spikes. Pa Pius, but we can use see your, a spike. Use your time on the so, so it's not a problem. Economic question. You have spent now, five minutes already of, of your well, time. Well, I I will just no. In the banking or economics. Well, so 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 I wanted to clear those points, mm -hmm. and let my brother understand that when we when we say that we are isolating people, it's a good thing. Okay. We must actually appreciate that. Now I will read to you something briefly about. This is what the USA mm. said about Ghana. Mm. When the so-called Ebola, and my brother says that Ebola was here, and I don't know... No, no, I never said Ebola. it was here. Was it, uh, what did you I say? I said Ebola crisis, Ghana was used as a coordination center, mm. yet we didn't record Ebola in this country because well, of competence. <laughs> well, I'm saying to you that it is not because of competence. What is what? You have to understand that there's a difference between We didn't get one of your dollars as Listen, well. You, Bias, you, are, you are spending all your time that, trying to do but, this. But, you, have, you have not answered. No, don't don't be because you said you were not here to respond it, to him. Yes. So I'd rather you... Yes. I, 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 I took note, I took fact, note of how long through. he spoke. All, all the things I spoke about. He spoke about it. I still had time to speak about it. Spoke about it. Still still time to speak about I, I, I'm just alerting you that you have spent six minutes of your time now. I'm, I gave how, him much, ten, how, how much? I gave him ten. He, he used ten minutes? Yes. Never mind. When is time coming out? I feel... But you should respond to the questions that I'm asking you. Price what I ask Coopers. And I'm saying that... Yes. Let, me, let, me say, let, me, let, me, let me point it out to you that I don't appreciate how you moderate this program. I feel that your bias is, is too clear and you are not being professional in how you are oh, conducting. That, that is below the belt. Well, you you're, can say that. You're, you're, you're going very so, you were, well. You are well, sounding well, very arrogant. When Tommy, when Tommy started, no, 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 no. I told him he's spending no, no, no. his time to respond no, to you. No, 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 and then no. I pointed out... Trying to run down, run down the program for your own interest. I don't think you're being fair to me. You're above that. I told you that you have spent three minutes of your time. I went on to say you have spent four. I said you have spent five. You still kept going. I said you have spent six. You said you are going to read to me something from the time? Don't do that. And, and I am telling you that you have spent. Maybe your you should time. take time. Maybe you should take time after the program to watch. I I feel very uncomfortable about this method. But, but and I must say his that integrity. His integrity. I, 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 I am. I'm, 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 I'm telling you. I'm questioning uh, it. I, I, but maybe you should take time and watch I, it. I'm, I'm telling you honestly. I'm disappointed that you. Yeah. Well, you can say like that. But I'm saying that you take time after the program and watch. Ten minutes. But how many times to use your time? I asked him questions to while you. But how many times did you even remind him about his time? You are saying that every time. Please. I was here. You should take time and watch. I was here. It was not like I'm not here. I'm, I'm not enjoying this. I mean, you allow Honorable Goja, you give him his time, he flows. I am three Please, I mean, it's not like I'm not here. Pardon. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I am the one experiencing the thing, so allow me to explain it. We can get it done sometimes. So you are the only right person here? Well, I'm saying, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm expressing how I feel. Jesus. I'm, I, but I don't expect uh, Honorable Goja, who I am accusing you of assisting, I don't expect him to agree with me. So please, no, that's I'm my not. view. Pardon. That's my view. That's my view. There are certain things I will never say about you. I'm, I'm shocked. For you to say that he's unprofessional, I take objection I am, to that. No, it's okay. okay. I'm, 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 I take objection why? to that. Why? You, are, you are here and uh, you have accused uh, a government of being incompetent. And oh. that, is, that can fly. That We can allow that. He's not part of our conversation. Is, I'm saying that I, I am uncomfortable about how he's managing would the you be happy if anybody when spoke I, to you, to, to your here. integrity like that? Pius, when I sit here and somebody Pius, says... would you be happy if anybody went after your integrity? Well, I'm not, the surprised, way I'm not surprised that you are taking the position you're... you're no, it's it right. only justifies the point I'm making. You and I can make which every argument. Which is that? Which is that? Which is that? I feel that on, uh, uh, Mr. Hughes here is playing to your favor. So I'm not surprised that you are defending him. How is he playing to my favor? Well... In fact, he queried me more deeply when I started my first uh, edition. He kept reminding me of government you intervention. Should, maybe, you should, maybe you should watch. Maybe you should watch after the show. I don't enjoy this. And I, and I know it. From the very when, beginning, when, I noticed what when, Honorable Sot... Uh, when what, you, what, when you, you didn't come here to enjoy the program, did you? Oh, yes. you, 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 you? The time that you say I haven't had... We have, look at the, the, the time that we have spent discussing this matter. But you are the because one he said something it. which is Because you had allowed me to go on. Because if you had allowed me so to go on. I'm making my point. Pius, you are above and that. You call and you call me unprofessional. Pius, you are above that. If you go home, you call the, uh, look, you do. Uh, wow. If I were you, I would apologize at least to him personally. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't expect no, that. No, no, no. 
I don't expect you to say anything. You can disagree with me, but you've never said anything personal to me. Because you haven't done anything that was that you know me. No, you say things about me, I say things about not to the extent of my personal integrity. You shouldn't do it to him. I haven't I haven't done anything. You said it's not professional. That is his profession. He's a journalist. It's not a personal matter. I think you should apologize. It's not a personal matter. You should apologize. I feel that he's he's not handling the program well. That is I feel that he's doing a lot of that is your view, but he said unprofessional. That is unprofessional. If he's showing bias to you over me, it is unprofessional. I think you should apologize to him. I will not. You've gone beyond beyond what but I'm saying. The honourable good disagreement is you are actually touching on his integrity. I think I'm you should apologise. I'm not. I'm not saying to you, you that. I'm saying to you that yeah. it is professional. You are my friend. I'm telling you, honorable it will be Buja. better honourable to apologise to him. Then we'll I, move I, on. I hear your advice. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not. Going, I'm unable to accept it. Okay. I believe that when the host of a program is showing open bias to one of the panels, in what way? Give an is, example. It is irresponsible. Give, give, give an example. It is unprofessional. Give an example. And I can point it. Give an example. Can I ask you a question? When, when you sat here with Sami Jenfi a few weeks ago and he called you corrupt, I asked him to justify this why. Is and I gave you again, an example. This is, this is the I guess, this is the I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance. This is the evidence. I gave you a chance to explain this is yourself. Again, the evidence of unprofessionalism I'm talking about. What he just did if, was even wrong. No, but he's what giving he just an example. Did, example, example what what he did just now was wrong. What he just Jesus. did now was wrong. Bios, what do you mean, Jesse? Can you respond to my, my question? I will not respond to your question. I will not respond to a question that I don't even recall. Sami Jenfi saying me. Price Waterhouse Coopers. Waterhouse Coopers is raising red flags. The government, I am saying, has allowed, has said businesses can have access to 600 million. Banks are putting together 3 billion uh, soft loans with six months moratorium. And, and I'm saying that. Shouldn't we wait for these things to kick in before, uh, what do you call it, before we start raising red flags? The, the time is expended, by the way, but I'll give you two minutes of that because you didn't use your 10 minutes to respond to this question. <laughs> That's your view, because you didn't allow me my 10 minutes to respond you the have, way, you have the two way minutes, I wanted sir. to you respond. Minutes, so sir. those, I don't mind. I can spend the you next have two, two minutes. minutes sir. I can spend the next two minutes saying to you why I feel you did not moderate the program properly. But the point is that under one of the strategy objectives that we had, we had to limit the impact of COVID-19 on ordinary Ghanaian lives. And that's why the president has absorbed utility tariffs, for instance, water, electricity. That's why if you see what we are doing uh, for our colleagues uh, who are in frontline health, mm. we are mitigating. Again, there is the third layer of the 600 million uh, stimulus package to micro, small and medium scale enterprises. Mm -hmm. And I think that this government is taking steps in responding to the sufferings and the plight of Ghanaians. Mm. And that's what responsible and responsive governments do. I hear, I sit here and I hear my brother, Honorable Abuja, go on about how people in Adaklu uh, must be helped. Yes, it's true. They are Ghanaians. And that's why we are doing these things. And that's why it is our expectation that for a government that failed woefully, at managing another crisis, when we had done so in this country, where the people in Adaklu, they were suffering. Mm. The people in Accra, the, 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 the contractors he speaks of, the, the, the hotel industries and all that, companies closed. Mm. Here in, in, in uh, 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 media houses in Accra, people lost their jobs. I can report to you about Joy FM, about uh, 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 Peace FM and all, and all when they had to uh, realign their budget because instead of paying for electricity, now they had to buy diesel. And that was there, a huge cost on them. We didn't get 6.7 billion Ghana cities. But I'm saying that... We didn't. Th that's what I'm saying, that that is the responsibility and responsiveness. Nana Kufado didn't sit in the Jubilee House with his uh, hands in his thighs and somebody came and dumped 6.7 billion. Okay. He knew that time, there was, time there was a need for mitigation. He went to Parliament to ask time is up. Thank you. For, for the monies that he wants to use to, to, to mitigate. Time is up. Thank you very much indeed. Kwame Agoja is a member of Parliament for the Adaklu constituency. Kwame, thank you very much for coming. And Pius Enam Hajde is a Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic of Ghana. Many thanks indeed for your time, gentlemen. Uh, the, the directive is out there. Be safe. Uh, observe social distancing, wash your hands with soap and other running water, and eat healthy, exercise regularly, and keep hope alive. We will continue to do what we do, ask our probing questions, and the opinions could come, but we will continue to forge forward asking our questions. You be the judges.